Hey everyone, Renee from Tippy.com, and right now we are looking at the 2008 iPhone 3G, and this one is still running um, iPhone or now iOS 3.1. Just so we can give you a little bit of a comparison, you can see moving the home screens fairly snappy. Go into Spotlight, you can type on the keyboard; it's pretty fast. There's no lag really; everything just kind of works the way it's supposed to work. Things just launch. So, um, we're going to put iOS 4.2 on this and see how that does. Because if anyone remembers, 4.0 was bad news. We'll be right back and take a look. Okay, and here we are running iOS 4.2, the gold master, but it's usually binary identical to the final release version. And it started up snappily enough. We'll go right into the big deal, the text entry. We're going to start a new note. And I am going to be typing over a camera, so forgive me, but... Um... It seems to be keeping up way better than it did under... Um... I'm making a lot of mistakes, but... Uh, it keeping up way better. I used an iPhone 3 for a few days uh, after 4 came out, iOS 4 came out, and it was horrible. It was horrible. And this is actually usable. This is not too bad. So uh, typing is doing okay. Let's try going to the World Wide Web. Let's just go right into it. Uh, what's a good website to try it on? How about www? tippy.com I've heard those guys are none too shabby and it's loading over Wi-Fi because the sim is in a newer phone now scrolling scrolling is fine, the, uh, it takes a minute to refresh but it's scrolling perfectly usably um, let's go to a, another site how about um, Apple? And we'll try some of the fancier tricks just to see if we can put it through its paces. Go, go, go! A uh, nice MacBook Air, nice HTML5 fade in, and um, let's see, what can we do? It took a second to become responsive. Pan, zoom, fine, pan. Let's try panning around. Let's go to this MacBook Air thing. And it's managing to throw up web pages again, none too shabby. It's not going to match the performance of the much faster, much higher RAM iPhone 4, but um, again, scrolling, zooming in, a little bit of lag, not much. I'm still loading the page. I'll give it a second, sorry. Don't mean to uh, skew the results here. Go load Apple load. All your JavaScript coming back to haunt me. Almost there. And we're loaded. Alright, so scrolling. Whee! A little bit of lag. Caught up, it did take a second there. Can I get any smaller? Rubber banding. Again, it takes a second. So again, yeah, it's not going to be as fast as the iPhone 4, but compared to the iPhone 3G on iOS, on, uh, iOS 4.0, it looks like it is night and day. We'll do one more little test. We'll throw up some Google Maps. Type in, let's see, one infinite... A little bit of text lag, loop, Cupertino, North America, zooming back in, whoa, very nice, let's just switch this up, hybrid, we'll zoom in, see if we can see Steve Jobs. Oh, we're in a parking lot. But we have Street View. Let's try it. Rotate and again. Not too shabby for an iPhone 3G, a 2008 machine. 
running the latest operating system when many new phones from other platforms still aren't running the latest operating system. <coughs> Anyway, so that is a quick look at the iPhone 3G running iOS 4.2. Again, much, much snappier than the original, and I think better than iOS 4.1 as well. So Apple is continuing to improve things there. If you have an iPhone 3G and you upgrade to 4.2, check out the comments in the video or the comments on the blog where we post this video, www.tippy.com, and let us know how you're finding it.